Okay. Hey guys, how you doing? I did pretty good. I just felt like doing a 12 by 12 resin painting with some of my craft smart paint. Um, and we'll just get started. So I'm using the Stone Coat Art Resin. And I do have a coupon code. Um, it'd be a positive painting inside my description. So all the information is in there. There's a link in there that will take you to Stone Coat. If you're ever interested, take advantage of the coupons. So um, just thought I would throw that in right away. And then um, we'll get started. <laughs> I went ahead and I, this is actually taped off. It's kind of got paint on it because I laid it on my tray. Now you forgot it had paint on it, but this is, primed with satin paint and primer okay and we'll just run do a run down real quick i'm using metallic black artist loft i'm using brown red which is just like copper master's touch I'm using bright rose gold it's a metallic Espresso, metallic, my favorite colors. I want to do a resin painting finally. Bright gold, metallic, pearl white, metallic, and champagne, metallic. I think that's it. So I have them all mixed in little tiny cups here and just took a little bit of resin, poured it in the cup, and just, just a dot of the, the paint. So, it's pretty, all of it is. So I got it stirred good. I will give them one more stir real quick and I'll pause the camera while I do that. So, <clears throat> with stone color, it's just half and half. So one part the hardener, one part the resin. And I've got some clear here. Okay. So I just got a phone call and it completely shuts off your, I, I need to put it on a, like airplane mode or something. <laughs> so I'll pour that resin on there. Not all, all of it, cause I may need some. Maybe I wanna add a little gold glitter across it or something. So I just keep it just a little tap bit, you know. I'm going to use the hair floor method on this. And let me get my heat done. I'm just going to go ahead and pop the bubbles, warm it up a little so it helps it spread. And I'm just gonna coat it up. Make sure I get every area. Biggest problem with resin paintings that I'm having now is just getting the kitty hairs out. And it's real hard because like just walking it, like I can check for hairs and everything right here. Put a light under it pop all the bubbles and then just walking it to my dry area it'll grab a hair off of my body or my clothes you know so that's the only bummer part and but that's no big deal because you can just sand it down with 220 sandpaper and do a second coat which I usually do anyway and it all depends, actually. Some of them I've ha didn't have to because it was a thick coat of resin, you know. So I think we're good. I'm going to start with the black. This is an artist love metallic black. 
I like my wild. I like them wild. <laughs> So much as I'm just in there. Then I'm going to go with the copper, which is red brown. Espresso, a sparkly, beautiful espresso. So I love these colors together. They're absolutely my favorites. I think you guys know because I do a lot of painting because I just did the other day. Remember? gold. That's gold. Rose gold and gold kind of look familiar or the same almost. This is just more of a little pinky. You know, this is the rose gold. Gold. Oh, champagne It shouldn't take long because the hair blower does a lot of work for you real quick. You just got to make sure you don't get too close to where you're blowing it off of your, you know, canvas or your wood panel. Okay, here we go. I just want to explain that all I'm doing is heating it up right now, just warming it up. So that way, when I do use my hair blower, when you see me come in with the hair blower, it's on hot heat. It's not on the cold heat. So right now I'm just warming it up. Once I start to see it move, then I know it's warm enough for the blower. But you do want it nice and warm. Okay, so here goes again.
Okay. So I'm pretty happy with that. That's beautiful. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Wish I had a little more copper in there, but that's all good. And the shimmer is just gorgeous. So there's just a couple areas that I would like to spread just a little bit further. So I'm going to heat it up one more time. Just a little bit in some areas. Okay, I just got to make sure there's anything I don't like. Okay. Sure is beautiful. The shimmer from that espresso is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. <laughs> okay, I think I'm good. I'm happy with every area and I got to double check because how to do it now. The only thing I want to do is spread this maybe just a little bit over right here. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> I'm loving this one so much. It is gorgeous. And sometimes the hair blower will give you some cells. So this is gorgeous. So I will pop some bubbles here now with the torch. Uh, just let it calm down a little because the hair blower, the heat gun already pops them, the bubbles. So wait a few minutes, pop them again. And uh, that's it. Okay, I'm just gonna pop some bubbles again. Too much with the torch because that's what heats it up more than the hot gun does. And before I put it away, I will look at it with a big light. This is beautiful, man. Oh my gosh. It's gorgeous. Let me put some gloves on to turn it around. So hopefully you're in complete view here. Let's take a look and see which way it looks better. Oh, that looks so good that way, too. And this one's beautiful. I love it so much. That's pretty, too. Oh, my goodness. I don't know. I suppose it looked pretty good this way. Yeah, that looks pretty neat. So I'm loving this one. I suppose I could lift it up. I just don't like to be on level. No snagging in this one or tadpoles. Beautiful. So that paint worked really, really well. Look at that gold. That's that bright Craftsmark gold. Look at that. Oops, I'm dripping. Gorgeous. Champagne in there just looks beautiful with the white, too. That is gorgeous, Mary. Okay, so that's it. So now I'll just inspect it under a light, real good, check for hairs, and put it in my drying rack and pop bubble one more time. 
thank you guys for watching. I really enjoy doing these. So I, <laughs> it is my pleasure uh, always to do resin paintings. I have like, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, on my wall so I'm adding I'm gonna have an entire wall of 12 by 12s pretty soon this makes 10 <laughs> I'll show them to you again someday alrighty thanks for watching have a good one bye bye guys <laughs>